Heart disease is the leading cause of preventable death worldwide. The doctors diagnose heart disease using a scan called an echocardiogram, which uses sound waves to visualise the heart. New Zealand doctors do around 100,000 of these scans each year, uh, and they have to manually review every single one. So I was 18 when I founded Heart Lab, when I was studying applied mathematics at the University of Auckland, and I was fascinated by the way that AI could assess medical professionals. Heart Lab's AI technology automates aspects of the echocardiography reporting workflow, which saves cardiologists valuable time. So rather than cardiologists having to do these measurements by hand, the measurements have already been formed by the time they load the scan so that they can review and approve the AI results. Three years ago, Will came and saw me about his company Heart Lab, and in that time we were able to support him with advice on innovation, student grants, and he's currently applied for a project grant. Heart Lab is currently working with the Health Tech Activator, an initiative run by Callaghan Innovation to provide skills to early stage health companies, including capital planning, market validation, regulatory and clinical trials. Heart Lab is a medical device company and the commercialization pathway for medical devices is very complicated. And this is where the Health Tech Activator's services and expertise comes in and makes a really big impact. We've received several student grants from Callaghan Innovation, which has allowed us to scale up our R&D program as well as giving students invaluable tech sector experience. Hellhan Innovation gave us an R&D loan. This was invaluable and supported us before our $1.1 million capital raise, which was led by Asas Ventures and backed by Founders Fund. We set to trial our prototype product at a number of clinics around New Zealand in July 2021. This time last year, we were a three-man team. We've now grown to a staff of 12 set to launch our first product into the New Zealand market and then later into the US market. And a lot of these things really wouldn't have been possible without the support that Callan Innovation has given us.